In this video today, we're going to talk about replacing this lock. And of course, my RV is different than yours. I'll explain why I chose the lock that I did. This video is about changing out your RV entrance lock. My RV is not the same as yours. So don't expect a perfect fit to your situation with this video. If you have an RV, you will have to get a lock that will fit the space left in your door after your lock is taken out. You will have to make sure that your door will open and close correctly and seal so that the outside and inside air don't escape. Your deadbolt must work perfectly. Take it from the old RVer. It can get complicated. Because of these parameters, I decided to try to find the same exact lock. How did I do this? I looked at my original key, rubber, coated, end. It was marked TRI slash M-A-R-K. I googled Trimark, looked at their website, but the lock wasn't there. I called Trimark, the company, and talked to a salesperson. They gave me an email address. I sent a picture of my lock to them, and within minutes, I found that they had the lock, and each section of the lock is sold separately. I opted to buy the whole lock, which cost around $220, but that also came with 10 keys. The cost was about the same as a new combination lock, but just remember, most combination locks take batteries, and I have found that batteries don't fare well in your RV. Here is a lock taken apart. Note the security screws are used to hold the lock together and hold the striker plate. I just got a complete set of security screw bits from Harbor Freight. I have two sets. One set was in storage and I couldn't find, but I got it just over 10 bucks. The one that I just got was just under 20 bucks. If you have a coupon, it's even less. This is my second lock replacement. The first one was due to a single-sided key issue and trying to get another key made with the same blank. It was impossible because the key style was obsolete. The replacement is a double-sided, and I purchased 10 additional keys. The cost of just the keys is $33. The second lock, I had trouble opening the top key. Now a short demo of this lock. This top key controls the lever door release, while the bottom key is for the deadbolt. Eight security screws hold the lock in place. This also includes the receiver attached to the RV itself. The receiver can be adjusted to prevent air loss. They also give you two shims which are unnecessary. I truly hope that this video helps fellow RVers. That's my goal. I will repeat, my RV is not the same as your RV. So take what I have put forth here and use it for your own situation. How you go from now on is totally up to you. This is the old RVer. Thank you for joining us today.